The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing you have made and forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain of you the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. But God, being rich in mercy, because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved. Words taken from Ephesians chapter 2, verse 4 and 5. Brothers and sisters, God loved us so much that he sent his only son to die for us sinners. God's love is not our love. We have to first look at how God himself loves. Then and only then can we work out what that means for our own love. God is merciful. We do not deserve his mercy, but because of his love for us, he shows mercy, compassion, and pity to us. He has forgiven us. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace. This is the basis of God's love, his mercy. St. Paul describes God's love as his great love with which he loved us. God showed his love by action. He rescued us though we did not deserve to be rescued. He actually loved us by doing something for us. He sent his only son to suffer and die so that we can be saved. So God's love isn't just a desire or an attitude. God's love is something that God does. God's love is unconditional love. Not a love depending on who we are or what we do. God loves us with a profound love. He made us alive. He changed us for the better and gave us an identity. He loves us immensely. He sent his only son to die on Calvary's cross. Brothers and sisters, if that's not love, then what is? This is what God's love means. It's a love that comes from God himself rather than from us. It's about the God who is rich in mercy, not treating us as we deserve. God's love is a transforming love, making us alive. It's a love that is shown most of all in his son, Jesus Christ, and it's not something that we have done for ourselves. It's a free gift of God who rescues us. Remember, God loves us, so let us live lives characterized by his kind of love. Lives of mercy, lives of gratitude, imitating God as his dearly beloved children. And what better time to show our love for each other than in this season of Lent? Beloved, let us love. Love is of God. In God alone hath love its true abode. Beloved, let us love. For only thus shall we behold that God who loveth us. Amen. Amen.